Hello friends, this video on statistics part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Please focus on this question, it's a little tricky question. The question says the median of the distribution is 28.5, we have to find the value of x plus y. The median is 28.5, if you see 28.5 is in this one. So this is my median class. That is very clear from the data. Just by observing I can say this is my median class. Why? Because 28.5 is in this range. The second thing that we can very easily say is that x plus y, if you add all this value, this is 60. Correct. That is 5 plus x plus it here 5 plus x plus 20 plus 15 plus y plus 5 is equal to 60. If you add all the total is 60. So if you solve this, the relation I get is x plus y is equal to 50. That is my first equation. So two things I can directly say. The first thing is the median class is this and x plus y is equal to 50. I have to find the value of x and y. That means I have to find one more equation in terms of x and y and then we can find the value of x and y. Correct. Median is 28.5 given. Now, to apply the median formula, we have to find the cumulative frequency and all. So, let's draw this table and let's put the values here. 0 to 10, this is 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. 50 to 60. These are the values I have. And the frequency, this is 5, this is x, this is 20, this is 15, this is y, sorry, this is 5, this is y actually. This guy is 15. Yes. Correct. So now let me find the cumulative frequency. This become 5, this become 5 plus x. This becomes 5 plus x plus 20, that is 25 plus x. This becomes 25 plus x plus 15, that is 40 plus x. This becomes 40 plus x plus y, that is 40 plus x plus y. And this becomes 40 plus x plus y plus 5, that is 45 plus x plus y. So these are the cumulative frequency I have got. So I will put it like this. And this is the median class I already know. To apply the formula, I know that median formula is nothing but L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H. If you observe carefully, H is 10. Why? Because the class interval is 10 in all this data. So I have H is equal to 10. This is done. L is nothing but the lower limit of the median class. This is 20. So L is 20. This also I know. N is 60. I know. Correct. Total value is 60. What is left? CF and F. CF is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. This guy is CF. So CF is nothing but 5 plus x. What is the value of f? f is nothing but frequency of the median class. This is 20. So my f is equal to 20. Let me put the values. Median is what? 28.5. So I'll say 28.5 is equal to 20 plus n by 2 that is 60 by 2 minus CF that is 5 plus x into h that is 10 by f that is 20. Cancel. So this becomes 28.5 is equal to 20 plus this becomes 1 by 2 into h. This becomes 30 minus 5 that is 25 minus x by 2. Correct. And if I saw this, I get 8.5 is equal to, or 8.5 into 2 is equal to 25 minus x. 
but I saw this x comes out to be 25 minus 17 that is 8. So I got the value of x to be 8. If I got the value of x to be 8, I have this equation x plus y is equal to 15. So I can say y is nothing but 15 minus x that is nothing but 15 minus 8 and that comes out to be 7. So I got x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 7. And that is my answer. Very simple. Just I have observed that the median class is this one. So I got the value of h, l, n, c, f and f. Use the formula median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus c, f by f into h. Got the equation in terms of, um, got the value of x. I have one more equation that gives me the value of y if I put the value of x and I got the value of y. Please look carefully, little tricky question. So if you see this question, the length of the leaves of 40 plants, uh, the length of 40 leaves of a plant are measured to nearest millimeter and data is obtained. You have to find the median. If you see this, this is 126, this is 127. This is not same actually. 125, 136, not same. Correct? 144, 145, not same. And also not same, not same. That means it is not a group data. Convert into group data, let's do this. What we'll do? We'll add 0.5 here. We'll subtract 0.5 here. So in that case, both will become 126.5. Here also we'll add 0.5 and from this we'll subtract 0.5. Data, data will become something like this. This will become 117.5 because from this part we are subtracting and this part we are adding. So let me write here. This is clear. This is subtract. This is add. So from this to this becomes 126.5. This becomes 126.5 to 135.5. This becomes 135.5 to 144.5. This becomes 144.5 to 153.5. This becomes 153.5 to 162.5. This becomes 162.5 to 171.5. This becomes 171.5 to 180.5. So if you see here, this is a group data now because this is 126.5, this is 126.5, 135.5, 135.5, 144.5, 144.5. 5. This is the group data. So let's put the frequency. This is 3, this is 5, this is 9, this is 12, this is 5, this is 4, and this is 2. Second thing is find median. We have to find cumulative frequency this becomes 3, 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 9 is 17, 17 plus 12 is 29, 29 plus 5 is 34, 34 plus 4 is 38, and 38 plus 2 is 4. I have got cumulative frequency. The value of n is 40, so n by 2 will be 20, and n by 2 plus 1 will be 21. So I have to find the class where 20 and 28th term is there. So if you observe this class, this has values from 17 to 29, that is from 18 to 29 actually. Till 17 it is in this class, 18, 19, 20, till 29 is in this class. So if you see 28 and 21st also is in this class. So this is my median class. First battle is won. I got my median class. Cool. I have got my median class. Now what? Now I can just apply the formula. Very simple. See the formula is the median is nothing but L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H. Then we put the values. What is the value of L? L is nothing but the lower limit of median class that is 144.5. What is the value of n? 40, we can see here. N is equal to 50. What is CF? CF is commutative frequency of the class preceding meeting class. This becomes CF. CF becomes 70. What is F? F is frequency of the meeting class. That is 12. F is equal to 
f is equal to 12 f is equal to 12 now h h if you see the difference is 10 correct not 10 actually now it is 9 here 177.5 when 126.5 minus 177 117.5 is 9 135.5 minus 126.5 is 9 all the difference if you see is 9 so h comes out to be 9 here please note here it was 10 h but this was not a group data so we found this as a group data so we will exactly follow this data now here h is 9 we put the values this becomes 144.5 plus n by 2 is 40 by 2 minus cf is 17 by f is 12 into h is 9 correct if you solve this what i get is 144.5 plus 40 by 2 is 20 minus 7 is 3 3 by 12 into 9 this becomes 12. so if you solve this this becomes totally 144.5 plus 9 by 4 that is if you solve this becomes 146.75 and that is the median length and this is in millimeters so let me say this is nothing but median length of leaves so what we have done here first we have converted into group data and then we found the median class then we found the value of l n c f f n h applied the formula and got the text the question says thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again